Hello, and welcome to another episode of Prophet Sundays with me, Kaylee Kelly. In this series, I'm exploring one of my favorite pieces of studio equipment, the Prophet 12. In this episode, we are going to explore together the concept of the uh, special effects you can do with the four taps per voice delay lines. In this episode specifically, we're going to look at chorus or as some vintage machines call it, ensemble. So this is something that I, I built. Previously. Let's do something like that. So hold latch, press hold. build a basic um, sawtooth patch, sawtooth pad. Just very, very basic. A little bit of slop. Oscillator 1 output, the 50% is 64, which is 50%. Oscillator 2, about the same. down the filter a bit, give the filter a bit of envelope with some attack, and a bit of release. A little bit of attack on the uh, VCA. darken it a little bit. Bring up the uh, high pass filter a little bit just to take out some of that boominess. That's just a note too. It's good to do that as a habit because it'll help your uh, it'll help your sounds fit into a mix better. If you don't need that bottom end for the tune, use that high pass. That sounded pretty good. And just because I can, I'm gonna use random on some, some oscillators. Just makes it sound so much better. So random to all oscillator frequencies, amount of one. And then random to oscillator one frequency, minus one. And random to oscillator two frequency, also minus one. And then we should have a nice lush. I mean, that, that wasn't that hard. a beautiful sound on its own but that's not what we're doing today today we're going to look at the the four beautiful delay taps so a pad or strings love a nice chorus so let's start with uh delay tap one bring down the delay time to somewhere between 80 and 90 i feel if you're going to do one tap that's a good spot to start and um, I'm not going to leave the amount full up. I'm actually going to control the amount of that delay tap with um, my VCA envelope. That way I can add some feedback to thicken things. But um, I'm not going to have a tail at the end. So delay one amount being controlled by VCA envelope. I'll go, let's go quite high, 90. Okay. And now, so 
we're building a course. Right now we have a delay, a very, very short delay. Just on the verge of a slapback. About, about 70 milli milliseconds is um, where your ear begins to determine two sounds as opposed to the thickening of one sound. That's kind of, we're on the threshold there. So, right now it just sounds kind of like early reflections in a reverb. But here's where the magic takes place. LFO 4 is going to control delay 1 time. Watch this. So this is just a delay tap. Now with uh, some LFO. Ah. And because this is kind of like a swelly, cool, vibey, patty sound, I'm going to turn down the LFO speed. Ah. Isn't that cool? Turn up the amount just to give the effect a bit more. Profit 12 restraint rules because if you want to make a nice kind of mellow cool sound it, it's going to be like you know one or two on the amount of modulation from the LFO to the delay time which sounds like a very small number but listen to that effect gorgeous okay we're done <laughs> I'm just joking we're not done. We can keep going further. So I'm going to use my friend random and I'm going to, oop, oop, my bad. I'm going to use random and I'm going to assign that to LFO4 frequency. There we go. And just in a, a small amount. But now every voice. See, there's not only four LFOs on board of the Prophet 12. There are four times 12 LFOs. Every voice has its own LFO. So when I assign random to the LFO, every voice will have a different frequency. And the amount of thickening that that creates for like a string patch is pretty insane. Two different speeds on the chorus three different speeds on the chorus, and I've also added random to the pitches of the oscillators. So there's only three notes playing there, but it sounds like a whole, a whole symphony orchestra. So this is one delay tap. So one delay tap. To recap, I have LFO4 controlling the time, the delay time. I have the VCA envelope controlling the amount. And uh, I have fair a bit amount of feedback. I'd say like, you know, 60% feedback, 55% feedback. And then I have random controlling LFO4 speed. So then let's take LFO3. And let's assign that to delay one pan. Oh, and then it gets nice and wide. Let's go into this delay, and I'm I'm not going to high pass it because I find with the uh, the chorus for chorus sounds and phase and flanger effects, a lot of the good stuff happens in the high frequencies. We, we could make it a low pass and, and emulate a bucket brigade device uh, type sound, but that's not what I want to go for here. I want to do something beyond what a Juno does. So let's do a high pass. I want to take some of that bottom end out of there because it'll start getting muddy. See, now we have some, some 
subtle width to the sound. So let's take tap two, high pass, while we're here. I'm gonna hard pan that one left. Let's look at the timing on it. Let's bring the time to, what do we do on one? We did 90. Let's go to like 50 or let's do 60 on this one. going to control the uh, the amount with VCA this time. I'm going to let this one just kind of sit. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take I'm going to take um LFO3 and I'm going to control the time of that. Control the amount with envelope three. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to make this a, oops, I'm going to make this a repeating envelope. Ooh. Freaky cool, man. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're getting vibey now, guys. Turn down the frequency LFO for a bit more. Now, let's get super freaky. Let's go LFO 4, controlling the delay or the decay of envelope three. Do something similar on tap three. <clears throat> so let's go. Obviously, it differed a little bit, and we'll we'll put a high pass on it again. Cut out some of that bottom end, and let's hard pan that right. Three, control the time. And let's do 
envelope four, controlling the amount. Ooh, this is getting cool. Go full, envelope four. Let's do envelope repeat. Sign LFO4 to control the decay time. Or no, let's make it control the attack time of envelope 4. center, panning left and right, delay time being modulated, and then we have one hard panned left, timing is being modulated, we have one hard panned right, timing is being modulated as well, and we still have one tap left. That's already super thick. So on tap four, Let's do a super long one, and we'll put this up the center as well. Let's do um, LFO2. It's going to control delay for time. Let's have, let's have uh, VCA envelope control the amount on tap four. So delay four amount is being controlled with VCA envelope. That way we don't get that feedback tail. Thick and sweet. Now let's go random to control LFO2 frequency. There we go. Just by a little bit. Let's assign, oh, 
let's go LFO one, and that's going to control um, delay four pan. Lots of modulation slots left. So let's assign random to all oscillators, random to oscillator one frequency, negative one, and random to oscillator two frequency at negative one. Just to give it that much more sweetness. is a uh, homemade chorus on the Prophet 12. And really, we're just scratching the surface of what you can do. You, you, I could sit here all night and just play around. You could make chorus be the entirety of the voice and just feed it anything and it will sound beautiful. It's all about... Oh, it's all about randomness. Unexpected modulation and how they interact with one another. But I think a big trick up Prophet 12 sleeve is is using random. Thank you.